What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Gamer Duo, welcoming you back to some more Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Woo! Last episode, we finished the prologue, which it doesn't feel like we have yet, but. Oh, wait. An alarm is ringing on the monopad. Our, our iPad for Monokuma. Not just mine, the alarm is going off throughout the entire gym. Which meant everyone had received this monopad as well. When I took mine out, a message displayed on the screen. Regulations. Students must live in or at the academy for the remainder of their foreseeable future. Once a murder takes place, all surviving students must participate in a class trial. If the blackened is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. But if the blackened is not exposed, everybody else remaining will be executed. If the blackened survives the class trial, they will graduate and re-enter the outside world. The killing game and class trials will continue until only- What the fuck? Well- only two? No! Oh no! All of our peeps are gonna die! Wait, so it's gonna be protagonist something else? Oh god. Nighttime is from 10 to 8. The dining hall and gymnasium are off limits at night. Violence towards Monokuma, the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, is strictly prohibited. Monokuma will never directly commit a murder. Your monopads are very important items, so do not damage them. A body discovery announcement will play when three or more students discover a body. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. Students who violate school rules will immediately be exterminated by the exiles. The headmaster may add new regulations to the list at any time. You gotta be kidding me. Two people? Oh boy. I already have an idea of who I want the second person to be, since it showed a male and a female, but you know, we're not talking about that. You gotta I be never. I will never participate in a killing game. You might have to, Kaede. Chapter 1. Oh, boy. I'm so nervous. Like, what the heck? <laughs> the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juvenile School Regulations. So, these are the rules. Oh. I do not understand why someone would force us to do this. But... Uh, but the rules are pretty cut and dry. This game does not seem like it'll be boring. You gotta be kidding me! That's not the problem! Listen. Please lower your voice. It is ruining the atmosphere. Oh, yeah! Hey, hey! Does the sixth regulation... What does the sixth regulation mean? The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Honestly, Angie, like, we have never gone down to that many before. And that is frightening, to say the least. Because in the first game, we had six survivors. In the second game, we had five. For them to outright be telling us there'll be two left, that's scary. Only two surviving students? What would be the reason for that? I am so glad Angie is giving us some thought-provoking questions because she definitely seems like the type of character that would do that. That's... Perhaps it's what you couldn't do, or perhaps it's because you couldn't do a trial with just two people. I see, I see. <laughs> I see, I see. You're so smart, Suichi. Always messing around. Quit screwing around. Killing games, school regulations. Don't screw around. To hell with all of that crap. Who would go along with something like that? Kaido raised the monopad as if his head to smash the... Kaido, no. Kaido, no. Oh. Whoa. Thank you, Rentaro. Oh, my God. Voice of reason over here. 
Hey, don't do that. School rules say you cannot break it. Hmm. If you violate the school rules, the, then the exiles will dispose of you. Exactly. What? I don't care about the rules. No way I'm going to play this messed up game. It isn't about playing the game. It is too dangerous to disobey him now. Yeah. Forget about him! Just means one less dumbass for the world to deal with. Shut up! Hey, who are you calling a dumbass? I took a deep breath and shouted with all of my might. Uh, geez. Hey, quit fighting already! Whoa! Whoa, what the? Jeez. We shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves right now. We need to work together. Hmm. Honestly, I'd probably be more inspiring if I played a song rather than gave a speech. Mm -hmm. Choppin's military polonaise would definitely help us unite nice. us right now. Oh, yeah, I can get behind a bowl or, oh, God, bolognese, and I don't even like meat or tomatoes. Nice. I agree with Kaede, too. We must remember who the real enemy is. Master told me that strength must always be aimed in the proper direction. Anyways, y'all are panicking too much. Just... Stay calm, like me. Wow, wow you're sinking so much. Really? Even I can't handle the intense vibrations. Trust me, I've got loads of experience. Hey. Anyways, why don't we work together and search for an exit one more time? Please. But we looked all over the wall, and there wasn't a single hole. Please wait. Now, just wait a second. If there is no opening in the wall, how did we get inside the walls in the first place? <gasps> Good point, Kibo. Oh, good point. Up. Oh. <laughs> You're right. That's right. Got it. That means there must be an opening somewhere. We just have to find it. Hmm. Whoever trapped us here wants us to fight each other. Oh, right. So let us show them that we're not going to let that happen. We're not going to fight each other. We're going to work together, okay? Um Why are you quiet? Did I say something wrong? I do not agree. On the contrary. You made your case with such succinct aplomb that we've been rendered speechless. Jeez. Huh. I was going to say the same thing, but you beat me to it. Mm, no, you weren't. Let's be honest. You are literally about to do some bad things, and my guy, you can't be doing that. Got it. You're exactly right. We cannot give up so easily. Come on, come on. Let's split up and find the next exit. Ooh. Oh, Atua, give us your strength. Wow, impressive. I must admit. I admire your speech. Hey! Oh, wait. Yeah. What is that? Were you about to get started? Um... Um, maybe it not mattered much, but... Gotta find manhole earlier in grass behind school building. Or Gonta, not gotta. Gonta find manhole earlier, damn it! <laughs> in grass behind the school building. Huh? A manhole? Mm. Gotta peek and see big underground passage think maybe e exit but sorry probably not so simple ah! you gotta mention important stuff like that much faster mm. gonta peek and see big underground ground passage think it may be exit honestly good gonta good job gonta <laughs> i i wouldn't be able to speak that fast uh, no. wait not like that you're talking too fast now either way the boiler is behind the school building we must co cooperate gonta's claim at once gonta please lead the way Got it. Okay, everyone, follow Ganta. Yes, we'll follow Ganta. With Ganta leading us, we hurried out of the gym. Just when I was about to follow after them. Wow, impressive. Kaede, that was pretty cool back there. Huh? huh? What was? How should I put this? The way you've changed the mood completely. It seems like everyone looks up to you. Uh... Look, looks up to me? C come on, that's ridiculous. I just spoke from the heart and that's all. I'm unsure. Huh. So it just comes naturally to you then. Huh, that's even more cool. <laughs> uh, you have what it takes to win. Huh? What? That means... I was just thinking. You, what you said back there would have pissed off whoever's running this. You definitely don't want us holding hands. They definitely don't want us holding hands, working together. I'm sure. They're going to come for you, Kaede. With everything that they've got. I'm a little worried about you. You're just so... Straightforward. Oh, Rantaro... At least we can talk to Suichi. And away he goes. That guy could really stand to be less cryptic. That's true. Perhaps it's a warning. That's what I think anyway. Being a strong world could get you in a lot of trouble around here. I mean, Suichi's not even wrong. Like, they're both not wrong. Being blunt and be... Like, okay. I think about it in, like, Survivor terms. Let's, like, like in Survivor, 
if you're the strong world will like super powerful person out the gate then you're instantly targeted and they want you out so you do have to have some sort of sense of calmness because you cannot be the leader immediately so i get what both of them are saying and i actually like that they're giving kaede that kind of advice because they that kind of shows that they both especially i know suichi definitely cares about kaede and rentaro probably does too like in a weird way i both of them basically are giving her different advice or the kind of similar advice in different ways and i, I appreciate them both anyway being strong world could get you in a lot of trouble around here sorry oh, sorry i didn't mean to sound so negative at the time like this no you're giving her good advice suichi it's fine i get it though because that's me literally anytime i make an assertion no it's fine you only said that because you're worried aren't you but yeah rentaro is a mystery he forgot his ultimate talent as well is that something you can really forget mm -hmm. well there's no use thinking about it right we should go ahead and hedge that manhole okay you're right yeah, we're gonna go into the manhole. That's exactly where we're going. I don't know where that is, though, so, uh... Kaitoi, Suichi, because you know where God is talking about. Um... I do know it's on the outside. Okay, is it bad that I kind of had an instinct where I was like, Oh, God, I have to go check my pet. Pet doesn't exist! Yay! I'm actually so happy that the damn pet doesn't exist. Because, my God, would I be so focused on that thing. Because I needed to do better than I did in the freaking second game. Because, Jesus Christ, it was terrible. I would fail at every turn. Like, <laughs> my God. Um, am I? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, hold on. It's this way. Yes? Yes, it is this way. Cool. Because I'm assuming that where we're talking about is outside. And the fact that we're in the first, like, again, the big thing that catches my attention is is two two people are surviving like i feel like at that rate like attempting to make friends with these characters is almost not futile but a lot more complicated because again the attachment <laughs> like i being attached to a character and basically knowing it's inevitable that everybody but one man according to the thing is going to live or die excuse me that's scary the manhole's behind the school building i need to catch up with everyone yes we're going we're making our way we're doing a little oh what what oh behind the school building i need to... what am i doing it's behind the school building Am I? Oh no. <laughs> How? How did I manage? Is it this? It must be this. Backyard. No. Wait, maybe? Oh no. Well, that's. Oh yeah, okay, they're all over here. Cool, cool, cool. Hi, everyone! Man. Oh, looks like we're all here. So, where's this manhole? Um... Um, over there in grass. The manhole. It's true. There really is a manhole in the grass. <laughs> an important hole near some bush sounds familiar. Am I right, ladies? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this manhole looks heavy. Can we even lift it? Leave it to me. I can try. You go, Kibo. Kibo places his hands on the manhole to cover, or manhole cover. And with all the strength, mm -hmm. he... Oh, How embarrassing. It won't even budge. Huh? Uh, a robot is not even strong enough to move it? Listen closely. Oh, don't worry. My physical strength is approximate to that of a senior citizen. Kibo. Gantha's right there. My guy. <laughs> we love you. You're great. But if you already knew your strength was a that of a strong senior citizen, what are you doing? Piece of shit. That's fucking pathetic. <laughs> The professor did not want me a repeat of the tragedy that occurred during the trial production. Uh, um, so now I'm just plain curious about what happened during that trial. Honestly, same. But like, uh, Ki Kibo's fine. Kibo's fine. Allow Gonta. Oh, then allow Gonta. Exactly. That's what we should have done in the first place. Gonta lift cover before to peek inside and should be able to pick up cover too. 
Ganta placed his hands on the manhole cover and... Upsy daisy So easily? Yeah! The strength must be due to my magic. Yep, there's no mistaking it. Ah, <sighs> due to your magic, huh? <laughs> due to your magic, huh, Himiko? Yes, so totally due to your magic. Oh, you're amazing, Himiko! So amazing! What should Gonta do with cover now? Nothing. You're fine. Please leave it somewhere else. Be careful not to hit anyone with it. <laughs> okay, I like that remark because, again, <laughs> I like. I feel like I could go both ways. Like, I could. I would either be like sarcastic, like that, and, like, or I would have just been like, do whatever. I don't care. Like, one of the two would have happened. Um, actually, Gonta no can do that. Very rude to litter. Uh, just throw it in the trash can then. With nowhere to dispose of the manhole cover, Ganta begrudgingly tossed it aside. The manhole cover easily traveled five yards before it hit the ground. <laughs> what wonderful strength. You should you could likely crush a child's skull with ease. Ganta never do that! How ungentlemanly! Gonta never do that. Um, Gentlemen or not, no one would do that. But but Gonta is so much more reliable than that bean counting robot. Hmm. Are you talking about me? Because I can count many things, not just beans. Look, there's many different types of strengths. Kibo's got mental strength, and honestly, I vibe with it. While everyone else was talking, I slowly peeked into the manhole. It was too dark inside to see clearly, but I could feel a core a cold, moist air drifting up from it. Actually, this place is kind of creepy. What's really going on in there? Got it. I'm sure it's fine. At, at the very least, we definitely won't die down there. Definitely. I'll you. If anything happens, I will protect most of you. But the degenerate males will be on their own. Honestly, understandable. The only one that I would protect right now is Gonta. But like, I, I feel like. Right? Or, well, no, 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 no. Actually, if I had to save one of the men, it would be Kibo right now. Okay? Right now, if I'm saving one man, it's Kibo. So, we're going with that. Going to protect you. Then going to protect menfolk. Wait, but... Okay, this is a dumb freaking thought process. But technically, if Kibo's a robot, is he able to be a degenerate man? Hmm. If that if, if the answer is no, then I have I chose not to save any of the men. <laughs> Woo! We're <laughs> us girls, and then we'll all ride together. Apparently, that's true. Awfully quiet. Where is Monokuma and the Mono Cubs? I see. Yes. A certain. Or, I was certain that they would show up at some point and crush us like rotten gnats. Ah, yeah. oh, then they probably haven't noticed yet. I see. Then let's hurry before they show up and mess with us. One by one. We each descended down into the manhole. Yaws. Descent. Once we all climbed down the ladder, we looked around and saw an open area. Oh, this is sketchy. Hmm, it's more sus it's this is more spacious than I thought it would be. Yoo hoo! Yo hoo! What is it? What is this place? That is correct. An old industrial passageway, I suspect. Perhaps factories once existed here. Ah. And this is all that's left of them? Hey. hey, take a look at this. Exit. <laughs> uh, what a considerate sign. Apparently it's the e end of the tunnel is the exit. Um. Considerate. Don't you think that's weird that someone would went out of their way to write exit? <laughs> yes, Tanko. <laughs> Don't piss yourself in fear. Your natural scent is bad enough. Uh. I'm not scared. I smell just fine. Hey. Well, then go on ahead. There's no point in standing around here. That's... Uh, yeah. yeah. No need to worry. Hmm. It looks a bit dangerous, but we're all ultimates here, right? Yeah, that's right. As long as we work together, everything will be work out just fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're, you're right. Well said. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> we're on the same wavelength, Kaede. <laughs> yeah. 
That's exactly what you were gonna say. Oh my god, Kaido, can you stop that, please? I really wanna like you, but like, if you're gonna keep trying to be like, that's exactly what I was gonna, like, you are literally the exact representation of what Tanko's been talking about right now. So can you not, <laughs> please? I can't, like, I don't wanna knock you down in the freaking tier list, okay? But do I have to be? God, give me a hug. Okay, yeah, totally. I no. <laughs> Damn, Kaede. Honestly, I feel that. But like, also, you know me, I'd accept it anytime. Uh, uh, typical G males. Exactly, Teko. Thank you. Like, actual thank you. Like, bro, this man. <laughs> typical degenerate behavior. Who are you trying to trick her? You were trying to trick her into pressing her boobs against you, weren't you? Thanks, Tanko. I actually, we actually needed that. Girl, where are you? Let me talk to you, Tanko. Tanko, Tanko. Am I dumb? Apparently I am. Where the fuck's Tanko? Bruh. Tanko. Oh, there she is. She's literally in the middle. Oh, oh, wait. Okay. You cannot see her with that. Like, in the normal. Okay, I feel a little bit better. Tanko, hi. Don't worry. If something happens. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Protect then you. I'll protect you girls by using all the degenerate males as the human shields. Okay. Well, Suichi. Uh, okay. Uh, if we all work together, it'll be okay. I'm sure of it. Here's the thing, right? Like, I thought about it a little bit more. If Kibo counts as a man, then we save Kibo. If Kibo counts as a robot, then we save Suichi. Just simple as that. Uh, um, that was me thinking about it a little bit more. Uh, Mew. <laughs> You're too weak, Kibo. L let me rebottle you and make you the strongest robot ever. Exactly, Mew. That being said. First, I will soup up your crotch plate by installing a nice thick one. Just how I like it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good to know. Let me go ahead and buy you a three-foot dildo. Because <laughs> apparently, you will freaking enjoy it. So, and those exist. So, don't ask me how I know they exist, but they exist. So, or or she'll just invent one on her own. And invite, inv she'll just, it, it, it's like the, uh, it's a great sleeping tool. Okay? <laughs> me, you. It's a perfect sleeping tool. It fits your invention style and yours. You are amazingly strong, Gunta. I want a piggyback ride. Be careful. Even if this is a trap, all we need to do is fight and struggle our way out of it. It'll be dangerous, of course, but it's better than rotting away here. That is troubling. An underground passage has not been in use for some time. It must be quite dangerous. But if everyone wishes to proceed, then I will do my best to support that decision. It's hard. Like, I like most of this cast already. Like, this game has definitely had the best cast introductions. It'll probably be okay. There will be an exit at the end of this. And once we reach it, it'll all be over. I just know it. I clung fiercely to the belief as we stepped into the tunnel. You are about to take on the death road of despair. The objective is simple. Everyone works together to escape. Press the left stick and directional bu or, and directional buttons. And then press B button to jump. You'll encounter plenty of traps set up to prevent you from escaping. If you hit a trap or fall off the ledge, that person will be eliminated. And control switch... What? If everyone is eliminated, game over, man. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean for things to get that real. For now, stay vigilant and do your best to reach the exit. Not that that matters. Start escape. Oh my god. What the heck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god! The fuck? 
to me, everyone. Ah! I <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait. Of uh, uh, what? I slowly opened my eyes, and it dawned on me that I had somehow lost consciousness. Oh. Are you feeling all? Are right? you awake? Are you all right? I'm fine. But what about everyone else? I looked and saw everybody else was sitting on the ground. Everyone stunned in silence. A sobering sadness filled the air. Oh no. What? Hi, Monokuma. Ah, oh, Jesus! This is quite the pity party. You sad sacks are throwing yourselves. Uh. Huh? Monokuma. Rise sign. Oh, now we're gonna actually explain what happened. <laughs> the hell was that? Wow, you look exhausted. You poor things. I feel sorry for you. Ah, oh, jeez. This place is filthy. Murder is on the cashmere skin. I bet Monadam is feeling lucky right now. His body is such a piece, a cheap piece of junk. Hey. Oh, why don't you respond to him, Monadam? It'll liven things up a little, you know. <laughs> You guys crawled out of your holes. I guess you finally noticed what we are up to. Notice. I've known for a while that you guys would botch whatever escape plan you had. Huh? What? Um. Yeah, I also kind of pretty much knew too. What are you saying? That's a lie. Then? If you knew, then this was just a trap. You're the worst of the worst. Then there was no exit. You tricked us. Don't worry. Oh, there is. No, there's an exit. So. I think you guys will manage to reach it if you all work together. <laughs> Uh, yeah, nothing that you 16 ultimates can't accomplish if you work together. <laughs> <laughs> and if at first you don't succeed, try, try again as many times as you want until you accept reality. <laughs> oh, so long, farewell. Yeah, so if we can't escape, if we work hard enough. No way, you little moron. They're freaking out if we... Or they'd be freaking out if we could actually reach it. Jeez. That's probably why they let us try. If they wanted us to try the underground passage, so we would learn that escape is impossible. Instead of blocking off every exit completely, they'll leave a little bit of hope. They want us to be desperate to go home and corner us mentally. Actually. That's just rotten. You might be right. Yeah, but we can't give up. Yeah. Right, you guys? I mean, we failed once, you know. We can't give up this early, right? Okay. Isn't getting out of here impossible? That's not true. No, it's not. It may take one more try or a lot more tries, but it is not impossible. Forget about Monokuma. It doesn't matter what he says to I'll us. Get us out of here. I don't want to lose to him, and I don't want any of you to lose either. I refuse to let someone who would do terrible things to us or do You're these right. terrible things to us. Kayede. Mm-hmm. So let's work hard to escape this place together. And once we get out of here we and make it out to this outside what? world, why don't we all stay friends? Um. Friends. Yeah. Yeah. After going through an experience like this, I think it'd be best if we are the best of friends. Right? I mean, it's not every day we get to meet our other ultimates. What do you say? <laughs> mm, that might not be bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. Mm. Uh, then we have all the more reason to escape this place no matter what. <laughs> my body is ready and I can you can tell how out of control my pit sweat is. Bad. Everyone. But Isn't it premature to say that we all do things? Or we'll do, or what we'll do after we escape. Assumptions are all but useless. Whoa. Jeez, you're clueless. Why am I not surprised that a robot can't read the air? That's robophobic. Robots can read the air. Thanks to innovations in pollutant detecting technology, Let's I... Go. Anyway, it does not matter if Monokuma says it's impossible. We'll show him what we can do. That's right. You're right. You're right. Seems like a pain, but I will guess I'll try. Yeah. Yeah, let's work together. We messed up last time. But I'm sure it'll go well this time. It'll be okay. I'm sure we'll be fine. A divine wind will blow through and lift us to victory. Wonderful. Ah, uh, humanity is truly wonderful. The way you all confront adversity is beautiful. With our bond stronger than ever, we step into the tunnel once more. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why? What the hell? Sorry. 
guess I'm on. Oh no! Ah. I finally woke up. Searing pain coursed throughout my entire body. <clears throat> I see. I lost consciousness again. Why? What the? I was looking forward to a happy ending. Don't worry. Not yet. We're just getting started. Of course. This will be a piece of cake. I gotta, gotta, gotta escape. Become friends with everyone. Gentlemen, never give up. This time. This time we'll reach the exit. Oh my god. Are we gonna continue this time? The words carried me as I stepped into the tunnel once again. But... It was no good. Even so, I we refused to surrender. We kept telling ourselves that this time we'll escape. But we failed each time. With every attempt, we repeated the words this time over and over again. But in the end, we couldn't do it. I thought we'd be able to escape as long as we never gave up. But it made no difference in the end. <sighs> failed again. Damn, Damn it. Seems like... I can't go on. That's wrong. Wait, we can't give up. This time we'll... Yeah, you know. Knock it off already. Huh? Huh? I don't like that. You're free to keep trying on your own, but forcing us to join in is basically torture. <gasps> torture? That's so mean. You know what really hurts? Being denied the right to give up an impossible situation. You won't let us give up no matter what we say, and you have the moral high ground. That doesn't sound like torture to you? Shit. When you say we can't give up, you're not inspiring us. You're strong-arming us. That's wrong. I didn't mean it like that. Hey, degenerate male. Quit being selfish! Just don't. I'm not being selfish. The others feel the same way too. Huh? What? But everyone? My spirit is nearly broken. This hardship gnaws at me. Given the circumstance, the most logical course of action would be to give up. Yeah. I feel like Hisashi Mitsui in the second half of a basketball game. I knew this was impossible from the start. This bullshit is a waste of my precious time and energy. I can't let you all rely on my magic. Besides, I don't have enough MP left. I'm just relieved that no one was seriously injured. Praise be, Tua Tua. Wait! Please wait, no, we cannot give up. Hey guys! You guys are really okay with getting not getting out of this place? We shouldn't have to push ourselves. Let's try and find another way out, okay? Huh? What? No way. You're talking about the killing game, aren't you? Ah. Oh, so you're gonna interpret it like that, huh? You gotta be kidding me! What are you saying? There's no way we can do the killing game! <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, I want some bubblegum. Uh, you can blow pretty big bubbles with it. Uh -huh. Oh, it looks like a little degenerate wants his head smashed into the ground. Wait! But... Stop, guys. We shouldn't be fighting. Jeez. We fell apart pretty quick for a group that decided to be friends and work together. Sorry. I'm sorry. This is my fault. I'm so sorry. Uh, um, no, Kaede. Dumbass. Idiot, what are you apologizing for? It is not your fault at all. Hmm. Really? I think it's Kaede's fault. What? Huh, why? This is an announcement. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. It is now nighttime. It is now nighttime. Officially start, or it is now 10 p.m. Nighttime officially starts now. It's Betty Bye Whether or not you good or naughty, it's time to go tinkle and go Betty Bye. Be careful. The dining hall and the gym are locked during the nighttime, so be careful. Right Bedtime or sign. Oh, nighttime, huh? Well, no sense in pushing our luck. We should probably get a fresh start tomorrow. Huh? Fresh start. What do you think? We've each been assigned a room in the dormitory. Perhaps we should rest there. <laughs> huh, we're gonna rest there? Sure. The rooms aren't that bad. Much better than my prison cell, that's for sure. But it makes me nervous to think that we'll be staying night at the night at this creepy school. Okay. Well, nothing we can do but suck it up. So, uh, what's our plan for tomorrow? Since the dining hall opens at 8 a.m., how about we meet there at that right. time? Sure. I think that'll work. I'm okay with that. It's decided. Can we go to our rooms already? Either way. Yes. We should get some 
as much rest as we can and regain our strength. And I don't know if I can pee my by myself in the middle of the night. I'll come with you. I if I, you don't mind, that is. Just let me know. Oh. Hey, guys. Just as a, a warning, we this. shouldn't let our guards down. We'll be easy targets at night. You mean? Because of killing game, you mean. Please wait. I see no need to worry about something as illogical as murder taking place here. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. It's just a warning. Rantaro makes sense. We're talking to Suichi first, because we care uh, about him more. Um, Kayere, I don't think you need to worry about what Kokuichi, or Kokichi said. You weren't pressuring us, at least. I don't think so. Thanks, Suichi. But I'm exhausted. Let's go back to our rooms and You're rest. Right. right. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll talk to Kaito, too. Why not? I mean... Hey, why did you apologize before? You didn't do anything wrong, you know. Um... Well, when we tried to escape, I felt like we were being united behind a common goal. But after I put everyone's lives at risk, that unity is gone now. Seriously? Shut Come up! On. That is just stupid. the stupid end result. It's not like you wanted it to go that way. Listen up. Do not apologize for something that is not your fault. It'll just be... Or make you feel bad. You know... Everyone just decided to blame you and give up. I'm not going... Or, and I'm going to give a piece of my mind to them later. <sighs> well, anyway. Let's just go to sleep for now. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Kaido. I feel like that's kind of important, though, because it's true, right? Like, it, it's it's basically, right now, Monokuma's trying to teach Kaede to, like, calm. What's the matter? What's wrong, Ganta? You're not going back to the dorms? Um... Ganta worry about manhole, think it's okay with cover gone? If... What if someone fall in, get hurt real bad? Cause going to gentlemen. Ganta gentlemen, Ganta gentlemen cannot ignore that. But Kirumi tell Ganta to leave cover off. Mm. Ganta not know what to do. Um. Everyone knows it's here, so I'm sure that we'll all be careful. So don't worry about it. You're right. Okay, you right. Maybe Ganta just keep eye on it. Thank you, Kaede. Ganta, go back to room now. Good night. Yeah. Yep. Good night. Ganta may look scary, but he's a very kind and innocent soul. Ganta is a very kind and innocent soul. I feel like... Ganta is a very interesting character. Whoa, wait. Did I just catch... Wait a minute. Why am I going so fast? I'm like sprinting out here. Am I supposed to be sprinting? Is that what's supposed to be happening? I don't know. Right? Is something the matter? Please rest and try to regain as much strength as you can. Escaping this place will prove to be quite difficult, so best not to fret over it. Seems like... Oh, seeing this... Or seeing it like this, the school is really eerie. An interesting place in the day, but having to stay at the night is too much. How about you, Himiko? How are you feeling right now? With my magic. If you can't really fall asleep, I'll put a or put you to sleep with a magic hammer. Rest in peace. That would be an eternal sleep. Eh, mine, sometimes it's better that way. <laughs> then sometimes it's better that way. Let's be fair. Okay. Should we go into Suichi's room? I think we should go into Suichi's room. Oh, we gotta find where our room is. Uh, right here. Our dorm looks pretty cool, though. This is my room. Well, it's not too shabby. Huh? Huh? A key? Is this key to this room? Bingo! Bingo! You got that right nice work! This is in fact the key to this room! You probably don't have anything worth stealing in here anyway, but you should always lock your door when you leave. Yeah! Alright, now time to give me a, or for me to give you a special hint. If you steal someone else's key, you can sneak into their room and kill them easily. Shut up, I do not want to hear that. Yeah! What? I just got chewed out! Yes, you did. Jeez, this place is the worst. I just want to go home. 
Ooh, what is this? The... Huh? Is this a closet? I guess I'll take a look inside huh? just to be safe. Oh, what is this? Inside were uniforms that matched the one I was wearing. Lots of uniforms. Did they prepare all of these? They prepared everything just to keep us trapped here, but why? I should prepare for tomorrow. Oh, that's the door to go out. Okay, cool. I'm tired, but as soon as my body hit the bed, my body immediately froze. Everything that just happened, I forgot just how physically and mentally exhausted I was. I thought I would be would achieve our goal as long as we didn't give up. That had always been my mentality when, whenever I practiced the piano. But maybe playing piano is easier because I'm blessed with that talent. Is this going to be our first Monokuma Theater? With Chopin's Prelude playing in my head, I fell into a deep sleep. Yeah! Monokuma Theater! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Whoa! We're getting a Bubba reference? The hell? The new student at the Ultimate Academy, congratulations! The waves have grown so thick with joy as if celebrating it in your entrance into this school. Seeing your anxious eyes shine with a murderous intent makes me oh so happy. If you feel lost, don't be shy. Talk to your friends or a teacher. Let's all get along and do lots of killing too. I may pray for the physical and mental well-being of the new killing school semester. I mean, I pray for the well-being of you students. Yes, that is what I will do. Woohoo! It is now morning. Rise and shine, sign. This is an announcement. Neom, this is the official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. Say that, yeah. It is 8 a.m., bitches. Time to wake up and face, oh, and face the blood-drenched day. So. I wonder who's dead this morning. Stop it. Stop. If I suddenly see a dead body, I'm going to puke again. Have fun. Enjoy your killing school semester. Phew. It was all some terrible dream. Huh. Wouldn't that be nice? Wait, I don't have time to joke around. I said I'd meet the others in the dining hall. Everyone must be waiting. I need to get to the dining hall ASAP. And in the next episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, we will be going to the dining hall, figuring out what's going on. Hopefully we get some free time because I am in need of some free time. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys, like I said, in the next one. See ya!